Hey, hey, hey. So, um, I don't know what it's been. The last maybe week has been bring out the fakeness. Bring out the, oh my God, I would have never known. It was just like, you were so perfect. I thought you were made for me. And all of this toxic bourgeois that we kind of traverse through in life. You know, you can have people that you think have your back. You can have people that love bomb you. I've had a lot of those. You can have people that are just um, convincing you that they are the person of your dreams. And somehow this is going love related, but this is also business. Like they caress you and get you to believe that you're the star player. And then they just throw more and more and more on you until you're just like, I can't do this anymore. And it's funny how a lot of people take a lot of time to dress up. <laughs> you don't have to try to cut in line. It's, you're still gonna get there. You will get fucked over in this world, I promise you. You do not have to rush to get in front of everybody else to have it done because your turn is here, if not coming. Don't worry. <laughs> we all get screwed over royally in this life. And it's because we feed into, yes, I'm going to fly off the handle, but corporate propaganda and political viewpoints. And I know I'm treading in very, very dangerous territory right now, but I don't know. It's the falsities for the last week. Shit, I keep investing in disguises. Uh -huh. Do you like me now? It's it's those things that it popped up and it was like a storyline in my head, kind of like life, you know? And we go through it and we can invest. I see all these young, beautiful girls come in looking for makeup and different things I didn't know existed. Primer? What the... F what is primer? That's what you put on a wall before you're gonna... Or after you spackle, but before you paint. I didn't know that was a thing. I found out it is, you know. I still don't use it, but anyways. Beautiful girls that come in. And I don't know if everyone realizes, but the more you clog your pores and block your ducts, you're a ventilation system. So as you take that away, your body's like, wait, I can't breathe. Now I gotta, I'm clogged. <laughs> you actually age yourself faster and this message might not hit everybody i don't know maybe it will with some of you this seems like common sense to me i didn't wear makeup for 10 years and then i started wearing powder i wear powder and tried out a new blush <laughs> with a faux pas personality just going through them one at a time, seeing what we can deal with and see how easily you can just change who you are. It's amazing. I don't think people will remember that we can charade and parade. And I don't honestly know if people are looking for love anymore, but that's one of those things that hides, especially behind people that are, they're wounded. I know the feeling. I've done a lot of shadow work. I've done a lot of introspection. I've done a lot of, girl, I got you. You my boo. We ain't going nowhere. I've had to be my support team. Earlier, when I was getting this on and everything else, I thought, call me, and I don't want to call you out, Brittany, but call me Brittany. <laughs> I still loved your music in the 90s. I don't... It just, you get to a point where what you're doing is not worth what you're obtaining. And that's in life in general because we follow corporate propaganda, which goes completely against our spirit. Everything about being fake is not worth the effort. There was, there's more effort into taking off the disguise than to not put it on. And then as you don't put it on, guess what? You meet like individuals like yourself that are like, I'm on a journey. <laughs> Can we journey together? And then we won't be alone. That's called a soul family. Who can get with that? Me. I can. Because honestly, you get to a point where you're like, I don't want to wear the facade anymore. I don't even know who I am. I went through that. Not knowing who I was. 
feeling insecure, looking down. What, why are they looking at me? When in reality, it's uh, because I'm a boss. And we all have to get to that mindset instead of being advertised to death. <laughs> I had to find the appropriate words there so I don't get flagged for saying all kinds of uh, things. I got flagged one time. I couldn't even open a WordPress that I was trying to open blogging site because of the word choice that I used. And it was only three words and one was politics. <laughs> So we get to a point where when we're speaking of economy and injustice and fairness, it gets to a point where we're kind of duck-mouthed. <laughs> then you can become Julian Assange. Don't know if any of y'all remember who he is. Wonderful whistleblower. But we have a lot of people that aren't speaking up. And rather we have to wear a disguise just so we can say hi. <laughs> I mean, you still know who I am. You still know who I was yesterday and you'll know who I am tomorrow. But it's a simple fact of, hey, let's at least have fun in the charade, right? I don't know. I just got to a point where I thought I kept hearing it over and over. The falsities, the falsities. Then my friend messaged me earlier, hey, you want a prickly pear cactus? And I was like, yeah, it was a piece of one. And uh, all I could hear is the bare necessities of life. <laughs> Look for the bare necessities, simple bare necessities. We've got to get back to that, right? So um, shall we get back to reality of taking more time to take off the facade than it did to put it on, right? Because at some point, we do go back to reality of loving ourselves, doing what makes us happy. And the one thing I forgot was my face mask. <laughs> the one thing that can help purify yourself from corporate propaganda whatever it may be, right? It's, we're all in a time of um, wanting to figure out where we belong, feeling how we have our insecurities. Can you tell I prepared this whole situation for you and I? <laughs> but we get to a point though, is life worth the struggle that we have to endure? The thing we entertain? The um, judgments, competitions? Love the socks, eh? <laughs> I thought about getting fully dressed and then I thought, what's the point? It's all going back to talking about what we're missing. That one thing that we need which is our self. Instead of taking so much time in a day to invest into what others are going to think, I mean, we got to get to a point where we say, but my happiness, my goals, my hopes, they have to outweigh something, right? Selling your soul for the idea of success. And in a minute, I'm going to go completely silent. Because, <laughs> of course, I've got to rinse my face. But does anybody know why we all battle to do the same corruptive thing to ourselves? Why we keep fighting to compete with one another? What's the point?
why try to fight each other knowing we're only fighting for the same thing <laughs> not a place at the top more so situations at the bottom because it's crazy we actually teach our children to um, go back go back to a place to where nothing is safe nothing matters there's too much competition I don't want to compete and um, in the end I have no clue where the bare necessities of life are <laughs> so why try there's a lot of people that spend more time on putting on a face to get you to go, huh, <laughs> rather than for you to realize the people that don't waste the time on the face, spend the time to heal themselves. Some of these are the most lonely people because they're still waiting for those that want to wear a mask to wake the hell up. We can have a big happy world, just not with corporate propaganda. Toodles.